A shift as a first responder in Milwaukee can be a grind. You see the worst things in the city that you live in, and you just see that repeatedly every day. And it's not something you can simply let go of at the end of your day. Former Milwaukee County Deputy Monica Quinnell says she couldn't separate her personal life from what she was experiencing while on the job. When I would drive anywhere, whether I'm working or not working, it's just constant triggers of memories of something that happened here or something that happened there. So she left her job and now is working on her master's in mental health with plans to help the law enforcement community. More officers probably could benefit from just t making, I guess, normalizing the talk about it, like asking off their fellow officers how they're doing mentally. Blue Health, an organization that tracks officer suicides across the country, estimates 236 officers died by suicide last year. That's more than double the number of officers that the FBI reports were killed in the line of duty in 2019. For those on the job, many of them need to find an outlet. That can be tough in a COVID-19 world. Just that limited contact isn't enough to do that that one to one FaceTime to really see how that person's doing. Mike Dodd is the executive director of the Wisconsin Injured Law Enforcement Officers Resource Council. They offer a safe space for officers to bond to tackle common issues. There are no records. There's no documentation. It's strictly confidential. An important outlet for those who put on the badge every day. It's a job that not everyone can do and I think it takes just an extremely strong person to do that work. All right, what is it about the job that causes these problems? Uh, Donald Schweitzer? Yeah, Vinny, I think that the uh, officers said it right, is, is that police officers see the worst day in and day out. Uh, that's their comfort zone. It's very unhealthy. And uh, the public can help in a lot of ways by recognizing the good that people do by serving uh, as police officers.